Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to Life's Good. I am your host, Matthew Fitch. And today, we are back to working on the Charger. I had to go to home, I mean, uh, Harbor Freight because they sent me a freaking grinder that didn't have the little wheel thing that actually locks down the grinding wheel. So, had to go and get that, you know. So we're gonna get this guy put together. Let me open this door up so we can look at what we got going on. I got the car up on jack stands on this side. Got the side skirt off. As you can see, I am gonna have to come in probably right here to here and just drill this guy out, drill this guy out, drill that guy out, and just get these panels separated. Plus there's a whole bunch of spot welds under all of this I'm gonna get out. You can see all of these, I'll have to drill this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All of these all the way around here up until that one and that's where I'll cut across. That's where I'll cut across right there. Sorry, I had you guys facing down. So I'm gonna drill all of these out and I'm gonna start by grinding all of the stuff off that I need to grind off, get all the seam sealer and everything out and get it down to a clean surface so I can hit it with that spot weld drill bit. Get back to you guys. All right, guys, we got all of that grinded down, all of our spot welds. We're going to go ahead and get this tire off, throw it to the side, and then I'll show you all of the repairs I already made behind the wheels. So, when the damage happened, I had to replace this guy, this guy, the actual sway bar link here snapped. Got a, another one of those used. So, this guy's just been put in here. This guy's just been put in here. This guy's just been put in here. Looks like she's doing okay on brake pads, but her rotors are a little lit. And I'm gonna tell her about that. So before we actually get this car in the road, I'm gonna make sure that she gets new tires and new brakes. But let's turn over to over here. Oh, we doodle. So as you can see that crimple in here, once I get the outer panel off, this won't have as much structure and it won't be as hard to get pulled out. So once I get, these two panels separated like i said it won't be as hard to get this inner panel pulled out and i will get it pulled out to a point where it does connect with the new panel it might take some portuguese persuasion but i'm gonna beat the fuck out of that thing and then as of these sensors here i oops well anyways i don't know what these are but i am definitely gonna try to find another charger for her so I can steal just these things for her that got fucked up in the collision. This goes on that. It's supposed to be like over here or something, but it was all crushed and it doesn't live there anymore. But hopefully it will soon, who knows? All right, but I just wanted to show you the damage that I had to already repair in here. Like, you know, her shock was okay. Everything else was okay. 
like I said, except for this little stabilizer arm and her con her control arm, upper control arm, whatever that is called. But we got all of this sanded down and tomorrow when I come back, I will be drilling all of this and cutting the panel off. And hopefully this panel will be off and on the ground and we will be measuring this new panel tomorrow. Hi guys, we're back at the charger. And as you see, we are gonna drill out all of these spot welds, every single one of these that is sanded down. Where it's shiny, we gotta drill every single one of those out and then we'll whoosh, 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 wherever you see those tape, that's where I plan on cutting. Well, actually I decided to cut a little up here on this one. Alrighty, thank you guys. I'm gonna get back to it. I'm probably gonna put you guys up somewhere while I work, you know? Let's do it. Well, looks like I'm going to have to run to Harbor Freight real quick. Boom. And if you see, I already broke all the tips off the other side, too. Biscuits. But it only lasted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spot welds out of a lot. All right, well, I am going to run to the Hardmore store, and I guess I'll be back. Well, I'm back home now. Tried to go to the Hardmore store. They didn't have any more spot weld drill bits, so I'll go to the one by my house tomorrow. See you then. All right, guys, we're back. I got some more spot weld cutters. I bought four since they only last about 11 spot welds apiece. Peep to Arizona. Anyways, let's walk over here. So, we're back over here. It's the next day. I'm going to get back to cutting these spot welds out. Um, this is my friend Sam's car. I'm kind of doing this for free just so I can keep the tools and whatever. And helping her out getting this car back on the road. Her insurance didn't cover it when it got T-boned because they're assholes and that's what insurance would do. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start knocking this shit out and we're going to help her out and we're going to get this thing back on the road. It's an all-wheel drive charger. It's actually really fucking fun to drive. For the 330 horsepower it has, it's a little quick.
Fruit roll up, grapes inside, drizzle of chamoy. Freeze that motherfucker. It's the gas. Chamoy's already mm. All right. All right, guys. We are back with updates. Anyways, so I have gotten the spot welds done. Let me let this focus all the way around up to where I will be cutting down there. And I made my drill marks so my punch can sit center. And I've done all of these ones up here. So I just need to do the bottom ones. And then I can go home because my hand is fucking hurting from holding the drill. But it's okay. We're making progress. We're getting through it. So next week when I come back to work on this charger, I will be getting right in to cutting on this panel and getting it off. And as you see... We got our whole new panel right here. And I will be measuring the bits that I need will be for sale. I will have some extra doors and mechanisms and windows and all kinds of other stuff she said I can keep when I'm done with the build too. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to get right back to it. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse so I can get to work and I can get this stuff done because, boy, am I tired and my shoulder is killing me. But I'm helping out a friend and I'm going to help her get back on road so her life can get back on the same or the right track or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Get off of my nuts. Burning biscuits. We're burning biscuits here. We need to get to work. Let's go. I made a biscuit, guys. You see that right there? Biscuits! Jesus, you see that? I can't believe myself. It's almost like I'm not a professional. <laughs> I broke another one. Well, guys, I was in the car editing before I was on my way home, and I realized that my phone stopped recording, if you can see in the video. I finished all the spot welds off, so next week, when I come back, I will be doing... Yeah! Cutting on that car and getting everything done, and so I can get the new panel back on. And once again, I am your host, Matthew Fitch. This is Life's Good. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, do all that bullshit. Ring the bell so you know what's going on.